Hi, it's Westy here at Jaegers talking about downrigger fishing. Now downriggers originally were designed for fishing saltwater, but people found out a long time ago that they work just as good in freshwater. We use them for fishing for coke in the Outer Lake Samish and Lake Whatcom, and we also use them at uh, Baker Lake for fishing for sockeye. I want to show you a little bit about how my boat is set up. You'll notice I have lots of rod holders. This way, anytime you need to put a rod down, you've got a safe place to put it instead of laying it on the floor where it's going to get stepped on. Also notice, the way I have this bo boat set up is I have a battery switch down here that lets me turn off all the power to all the systems so that if I leave something on or something gets bumped and gets turned on, I'm going to have a dead battery next time I want to go fishing. So let's gear this, fire this thing up. Now the downriggers that I'm using are Scotties. Buy them here at the store. These are the electric models. And I will tell you that I had them professionally installed by our friends down at West Coast Marine. I could have done it myself, but after I read the directions and saw how it was done, I thought I'd rather pay somebody to do a good job of it than take a chance of me doing a bad job of it. They're hardwired in, everything's ready to go. So let's look at some downrigger fishing. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering where I, why I'm wearing a personal flotation device in the parking lot at Jaegers, it's really simple. This is to remind me, to remind you, that whenever you are on the water, you're supposed to have a personal flotation device for everybody in the boat, and it's a good idea if the boat is moving to make sure everybody's wearing them. Okay, the first thing we want to do is get the downrigger set up. So I'm going to lift the cannonball up out of the rest that it's in. I'm going to depress this release lever over here so I can move the arms out. I'm going to put the whole thing out here where I can get at it. Now here's a trick I learned the hard way. Instead of having this thing banging against the side of the boat, always leave it a few feet down. Then you can lift up the arm. Lock it in place. A little more, a little more. While you're doing your rigging. Now this would normally be in the water, not banging against my trailer, of course. So, I'm going to get my gear out here and get ready to go. Now it is recommended that you rig your gear at least four to five feet above the ball. Now you'll notice that I have these rubber bumpers on here. They're very important, I think, because if you hit bottom sometimes, and you will eventually, you've got a better chance of that ball bouncing off the bottom and not snagging up and tearing up all your gear or losing the ball that costs a lot of money. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run out the amount of line that I want to be out behind the boat. Then I'm going to bring it back, hook it up to the clip. Now there's two ways to do this now. One way, of course, is to put this back in the water. And I can thumb the spool as I'm dropping the downrigger, laying the line out, or I can just back off the drag, put it in the rod holder, let out all the line I want out, watching my depth gauge here to tell me how deep I am. When I get where I want to be, I stop here, tighten my drag back up, I'm ready to fish. Now, if I'm fishing by myself and I want to fish the two rods because I have the two pole endorsement, I'm going to put one boat, one rod on each side of the boat. Then I'm going to sit back here and instead of having those mounted back here where they're hard to watch, I'm going to have them mounted up there so I can sit right here and watch both rods. If I'm going to have two people in the boat when we both have the two pole endorsements, then I'm going to try to put two rigs on each line. So what I'm going to do here is before I drop this all the way out, I'm 
Once I've got that one about five or ten feet down, I'm going to put a second clip on and I'm going to do the same thing with another rod. I'm going to run out all the line I want. For distance, then I'm going to clip this in. Put this rod in a rod holder, whichever one I choose. In this case, I'm going to use the one that's right on the downrigger. and repeat the process. However, if you're going to fish shoe rods, you're going to get both of them set up with the drags off or backed off, put it all down, and then tighten up both drags. So that's the basic principle of fishing one or two rods. One on each side, two on one side. The trick, of course, when you get a fish on is to spring it off, you hit the button and up comes the downrigger. In fact, the Scotty people are really bright. The way they set this up is you've got two ways to use the switch. You can run it up manually or you can just hit the on switch and it comes all the way up by itself. So you don't have to do anything except hit the button, grab the rod, play the fish, grab the net, land the fish, get back in the water and catch some more. I hope this helps you. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you.